Assalamualaikum and good day to all. Uh, so uh, now we proceed to the uh, work and hit. Okay, we're gonna learn what is work and what is hit. Right, so work. All right. Uh, the symbol is capital W. Right, the it is the energy transfer between system and surrounding due to force acting through distance. And work is done when an object is moved against some opposing force. So it it, it, it makes sense, okay, when the object is moved, okay, mean, meaning that there is a energy all right, applied to the object. Right? So for example, we look into the work of expansion, okay. Alright, a gas expanding, okay, we uh, assume gas as the object, okay. So when the gas is moved, meaning that when the gas is expand, okay, it will go against the atmospheric pressure, okay. Um, so the atmospheric pressure is the opposing force, okay. So when the gas expanding, okay, so the it it will um the driving force is will be against the atmospheric pressure. So based on this um situation, okay, um. Uh, we can uh, calculate the amount of work of the expansion done uh, by direction, okay, using the formula, this formula, which is W equal to negative P delta V, okay. W is the work, the unit is Joule. P is the pressure, the unit is in ATM. And delta V is the change in the volume and the unit. Okay, if you want to uh, calculate the work using this formula, the unit for the delta V must be in liter. Alright. Uh, so change in volume meaning that uh, the change um, of the gas, the volume of the gas expand from the initial volume to the Final volume. Right. Okay. We look into the example. Right. Okay. If five liter of an ideal gas at a pressure of two atm is cool, so that it contracts at constant pressure until its volume is three liter, what is the work done on the gas? So this example is the gas contraction okay so never mind we just put it into the formula okay w equal to negative p delta v so w equal to negative p is the pressure which is 2 atm and the delta v will be uh, final volume minus the initial volume so final volume is 3 liter, so 3 liter minus the initial volume which is 5 liter, so you got negative 2 liter. So the W, the work is 4 liter A pm. Okay, because the work, uh, the unit uh, for the work is in joule, you need to convert okay from 4 liter A pm to joule. So how to convert the answer to joule? Okay, we know that 1 liter ATM equal to 101.3 Joule. So, you do the conversion, okay. 4 liter ATM times 101.3 Joule. Okay, you got the work which is 405.2 Joule. Okay, so uh, there's another formula to calculate the work for ideal gas. Okay, when it involves more. Uh, so the formula is W equal to negative nRT ln V final over V initial. Right. Uh, so you need to know this, this formula. Okay, we look into the example. Calculate the work done when two moles of an idle gas initially at 25 degrees C at 1 atm expand from 0 0.025 liter to 0 0.05 liter. So the gas um the r okay okay given to you the gas constant which is 8.314 joule per mole kelvin 
Okay, so you use the information in the question and substitute into the formula. So n is two more. Okay, there's two more of n I didn't guess. The gas constant 8.314. The T, the temperature must be in Kelvin. Okay, so you convert 25 degrees Celsius to Kelvin. So we got 298 Kelvin. Lon B final 0 0.05 meter over B initial, which is 0 0.025 meter. So you solve this and we get the work which is 3434.64 joule. Next is heat. Okay, heat, the symbol is Q. Heat is the energy transfer between system and surrounding due to a temperature difference. Okay, so how about delta E? Okay, given to you the situation. Okay, if no work is done, if no work is done, W is equal to zero by the system on its surrounding or vice versa. The heat given off or absorbed by direction, okay, the Q, right, would be equal to the change in the internal energy of the system. Okay, because we know that internal energy, delta E, is equal to Q plus W. So, when no work is done, means that W is zero. Okay, so you substitute zero here, we get delta E equal to Q. Okay, another situation is that, okay, um, when direction is carried out in a constant container, constant volume container. So, constant volume container means that delta V is equal to zero. Okay, right? So, when this happens, okay, the heat transfer will be equal to the change in the internal energy. Okay? Because we know that, uh, delta E is equal to Q plus W. So when W, and W is equal to negative P delta V. So when delta V is zero, so W will be zero. Okay, we look into here, okay? So when delta V is zero, means that constant volume container. So the, the work is also zero. So delta E, okay? will be equal to, to the heat okay, at constant volume. Right? So here we can summarize that when no work is done, the change in internal energy is equal to heat or delta E is equal to Q. And another situation is when the reaction is carried out in a constant volume, delta E is also equal to Q. Okay. So we now we look into another condition where the reaction is um, carried out in constant pressure. When the reaction is carried out at constant pressure, okay. Delta H is equal to Q. Okay. Dan tadi dekat constant volume, delta E equal to Q. Tapi kalau dekat constant pressure, delta H is equal to Q. So, uh, how uh, this come out? Okay. We look into here. Okay. We know that delta E is equal to Q plus W. Okay. So, when at constant pressure means that delta I is equal to Q, P, at constant pressure minus W, which is minus P delta V. So, when we rearrange this equation, okay, we get Q, P, okay, which is heat at constant pressure, equal to delta E plus P delta V. So, um, So we come up with another uh, uh, parameter which is we call as delta H. Okay, delta H is enthalpy. Okay, so only under this condition at constant pressure, okay, uh, delta H 
is equal to delta E plus B theta B because theta H is equal to Q B. So, the heat given off or absorbed during a chemical reaction at constant pressure is equal to the change in the enthalpy of the system. Okay, delta H is the change in enthalpy. So, remember, okay, uh, when the process occurs under constant pressure, delta H, okay, this change in the enthalpy of the system is equal to Q. B, which is equal to heat at constant pressure. Okay, Q, P, P, Q ni heat, P ni adalah uh, process that occur under constant pressure. As a summary, we can say that the heat given off or absorbed when a reaction is run at constant volume is equal to the change in the internal energy of the system okay which is delta e equal to q v and the second one is the heat given off or absorbed when a reaction is run at constant pressure is equal to the change in the enthalpy of the system which is delta h equal to q B. So, um, to determine delta E at constant pressure, okay, uh, despite using delta E is equal to Q plus W, okay, you can also use this one, which is delta E equal to delta H minus P delta V. Alright. Um, so that's all for this video. Okay, in the next video, we will learn more about heat. Okay, the, the types of heat, which is heat capacity, specific heat, capacity, and molar heat capacity.